My name is Morton Lordson. I'm a distinguished professor of composition at the Thornton School of Music at the University of Southern California. I've been associated with this university both as a student and a faculty for now 52 years. And I'm happy to talk with you today. When I first arrived at USC, it was quite a different campus. First of all, it was very much in town. Traffic was going through campus in town at that point. The School of Music was only a, a 300 students at that time, and we were all able to fit into this very building I'm in right now. We had music at noon on Wednesdays, and we were like a family. Everybody knew everybody. The faculty was populated uh, very much by European immigrants who had escaped Europe during the troubles over there. Um, the individual I studied at, at one time with, uh, Ingolf Dahl, was one of those people who had gotten out of there, born in Hamburg, Germany, and many others that have come here. Alice Ehlers, for example, was one. Michael Tilson Thomas talks very fondly about her. One of my very first teaching jobs here, I was given this opportunity by Alice Coase, who gave me two opportunities early on. Alice ran the theory department for the prep school, which eventually morphed into the Coburn School. And I set that up years ago. It's very interesting to me that amongst my first students there were an eight-year-old Patrice Russian, who now runs our popular music program here, and Edie Lehman, who went on to a legendary career as a singer and in the studios, and others. But I did that. And I also was given the opportunity, which I accepted, to teach theory to the master class students of Yasha Heifetz, who was here. Yasha Heifetz and Piatigorsky were here at the same time, and imagine going to concerts with these two great world-class musicians. And so here I am, not too long after coming down here, a matter of three or four years, teaching theory with Heifetz sitting right there, surrounded by a half a dozen of his students. And of course, those years, as all beginning teachers know, you feel like you're just a quarter of an inch ahead of the class in what you know. <laughs> well, what a great opportunity. I, I, and I remember thinking at that time, that's one of the reasons I came down here, to be in this situation that pushed me and challenged me and uh, God knows, I would go to my composition classes and I was with other very gifted individuals who knew they were going to be composers since they were conceived and came in here with a lot of uh, pieces already composed. You can imagine me coming in as a fledgling, totally green. And I relied upon my background as a pianist, as a trumpet player in both classical and jazz. I can remember my very first pieces were all jazz tinged. They had that element in them. And not only the composition department was, was so wonderful with Ingolf Dahl and Halsey and, uh, and Alice Coase and others at that time, but the great inspiration to me in the School of Music at that time was the fabulous choral department run by Charles Hurt at that time. And I would attend those concerts religiously. It was amazing. The USC chamber singers, 16 of them with Ch Charles Hurt. And I had the opportunity to sing in the concert choir and the great possibility given to me in 1964, having composed my very first choral piece, a setting of Psalm 150 for a cappella chorus. And I took it, the manuscript, to the conductor, James Vale. And I showed it to him and I said, uh, Professor Vail, this is my first choral piece. It's an a cappella setting of praise ye the Lord. Should there be any free time during rehearsal, if we can just run it through so I can hear what it sounds like, that would be very beneficial to me. And I remember Jim, who is still with us, and I remind him of this whenever I see him. He thumbed through this manuscript and he says, no, we're, we're not going to do that. 
what we are going to do is we're going to take it on tour with the concert choir, and you're going to conduct it. And I was in the beginning conducting class. So I remember running back to Wacky Manor, as we had named that shack that I was living in, getting in front of a mirror with my score and practicing conducting it. <laughs> and it was filled with changing meters. And I can remember saying, now let's see, how do I do a five? Do I do it like this or do I do it like this? How do I? Who wrote this piece of music? We took it on tour, I conducted it, and it got published by Augsburg. And that was my first published choral piece, and now I'm sitting here 50 years later with a, a body of work and a bit of a history with choral music. So it was fabulous at that time. We all knew each other. The students were very gifted. My first extended piece was the trumpet sonata. Bob Lynn, my, my uh, teacher in composition, said, we all have to write a sonata this term. And, oh, God, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to write for the two instruments I know how to play. And I thought that I would be able to play both parts, and that immediately uh, got away from me very shortly in the very first movement for the trumpet part got too hard. And I can remember thinking, what am, I'm going to write it for somebody, and walking around and hearing a trumpet player outside preparing for his lesson, warming up, playing lip trills, and I'm thinking, this man is fabulous. He was a freshman with a crew cut. I went up to him and I said, I don't even know you, but I'd like to write this sonata for you. And he premiered it, he's played it, and it's gone on to be recorded. It's taught at various places, including Juilliard, published by Le Duc in Paris. And that young man with the crew cut recently retired from the Canadian brass, Ronald Rom, the man with no hair and a big bushy beard. But this also speaks highly of the, the quality of the performing arts student at USC, and that's been there forever. My little buddy Martin Katz, you know, went on to be one of the deans of, of American accompanying collaborative piano. And his student teaches here at USC right now, uh, Alan Smith. Yeah, they were fabulous. The singers, the performers, the teachers. We were a smaller group at that time. And uh, those formative years, I had so much catching up to do. And I remember at night, I would listen to records to become familiar with the literature, you know. What does the Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra is? And go to, go to bed at night listening to this stuff. And then working, working, working. And then, three years later, on this very stage that we're on right now, giving a bachelor's recital and then having the opportunity to study, since it's a large school, for other more advanced work with Halsey Stevens and Ingolf Dahl. At that point, there was a rule at the university not to hire graduates, that has since changed, but they made a special case for me. And I have been here ever since. This was so far from my thinking, of course, when I came down to Los Angeles. But I came down here, I was very, very well taught, I studied very hard. And uh, here I am, still. <laughs>